I'm pitting two titans against each other this week with Man of Steel versus Shaquille O'Neal's masterpiece, Steel. Okay, not really. Uh, Steel is a terrible, atrocious film. Instead, we're doing Man of Steel versus Batman Begins. That's a fair fight. Costner and Diane Lane gave great performances in Man of Steel, but it's hard to go up against the likes of Morgan Freeman, Gary Oldman, and Michael Caine in the Batman series. As for the ladies, I'm gonna have to go with Amy Adams. She's just a better actress. She doesn't have a lot of screen time, but she's much better than Katie Holmes. No offense to Miss Holmes, you'll always have a place in my heart. I'll always love you. And I, I will always love you, Katie. Begins as a bit more of an advantage in the villain department because it has two, uh, Scarecrow and Roz against General Zod. However, I'm going with Zod on this one. I thought he was a better villain, personally. I thought Scarecrow was kind of hammy in Batman Begins, and I just like General Zod's backstory. I'm also gonna give Superman the nod over Batman, cause I just never like Christian Bale as Batman. I know there's plenty of people that agree and plenty of people that disagree, but his voice is so crappy. That and it was just refreshing to see a Superman that seemed super. I mean, he's probably three times the size of Brandon Roth. He could eat Brandon Roth, and he could also emote. And I... We got two superhero movie reboots here. Christopher Nolan had a hand in both. Directing begins, producing Man of Steel. David S. Goyer writing both films as well. And I'm probably gonna be in the minority on this one, but I'm giving it to Man of Steel. It's just a simpler tale. No, there's no twists and turns or any villain reveal at the end. It's just very straightforward, and it actually does something a Superman movie has never done, giving us a way to relate to Superman. And that's told through flashbacks, which might put some off, but I found them refreshing. Batman Begins, of course, has a great story as well. Bruce Wayne getting raised up with the League of Shadows, only to have to fight his master at the end. He comes into his own as both Batman and Bruce Wayne, but I just like the simpler, straight-focused story of Superman. It's a case of heavy CGI versus practical effects. Zack Snyder has a keen eye for visual porn. Throwing two super-powered aliens at high speed through buildings look like something right out of Dragon Ball Z. Those extravagant space battles in the beginning of the film look like a cross between Avatar and Battlestar Galactica. Plus you have those beautifully shot focus scenes such as Clark Kent looking up from the water as the oil rig explodes. On the other hand, we have Christopher Nolan's take. It's darker, it's grittier, the camera's more focused, it's not so sporadic. Unless there's action, then he gets you in a shaky cam, lets you feel what's going on in the battle sequences. It works for some, and it's a turnoff for others. Personally, in Batman Begins, I thought the shaky cam was a bit much. Music's going to Batman. It almost has to, doesn't it? You can let me know in the comments, but I don't really see how you can make an argument here. Superman had some solid music. It was noticeable during the more touching scenes of the film, but when the action ramped up and it got large scale, the music just could not compete on that level. It got drowned out by the spectacle going on around it. I've presented to you a bit of a quandary. Two amazing films, bare knuckle head to head. Now you might ask, why can't these films both just be good on their own? Well, they are. But since I threw this out here, it's your job to determine which is the best, because I deemed it so. More than just reviews, this is movie feuds, is what the old guy used to say before I threw him in the ocean and the shark killed him. We'll always love you, Katie Holmes.